We're here in the Faroe Islands to discover new photography locations. I feel like it's the type of place that's ripe with new discoveries, new compositions, and great finds. But to be honest, there's so many epically iconic photo spots here, it's hard to not get distracted by them. So today, we're trying to get them out of the way. Okay, I picked up John and Rob at the airport. Mike's still here. And uh, we're gonna go hiking. It is 7 p.m. Even though it feels like the middle of the day, and we're gonna we're at the edge of the lake, Lettisvatsen or something like that. We're just gonna go hike to the end where there's this classic view of well uh, of the Faroe Islands. You've got the lake, you've got the coast down below, and then the just sheer cliff. So that's the game plan for this morning. I don't even know how to call it during these night shifts. That's the plan for the first shoot. It's been like this all day, where there's like partly cloudy and a lot of blue cloud up in the sky. And then right now, as we're walking to location, just a serious looking cloud of real, a real cloud with rain and everything looks like it's coming our way. So I don't know if we'll beat this out, but we're gonna try. We made it, and magically, for now, at least the rains hold have held off. Um, it, we're not to the shooting point. The shooting point is going to be up this cliff. But check this out. This is just gnarly. Whoo! And unfortunately, the unfortunate thing is the sea is really calm. And I think this is the coolest shot when you get really rugged seas down there, and then still water. So we'll probably have to come back here. But just gnarly. Insane, insane, insane. But we came up for that classic shot that has the cliff and the lake and then these crazy skies in the background. But there's sun rays coming through over here on the horizon. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to capture it, but sometimes you shoot the location, sometimes you shoot the light. This is one of those situations where I think I'm gonna go shoot this light. I think we're gonna set up and shoot this light. Again, I would love this location if there was really, really crazy seas smashing into the shore. But I think even with it quite calm right now, it's gonna make a really nice photograph. The lake actually empties into a waterfall. <laughs> this is epic, epic, epic. Waterfall, coastline, a bit of sun coming through, some gnarly seas. I need to get the camera set up because this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So it is three hours, no, it's probably even four hours until sunset still. And I think I've already knocked out one shot I like and I'm working on a second one. The first shot I just did was a vertical frame with this waterfall chucking down and then kind of the sea punching up. And then it's also receding down the rocks. It looks like more waterfalls. And it's really nice. There's even a little bit of light in the sky from the sun coming through. Uh, the second shot I'm working on is really, really wide, and this is a massive cliff, so it's kind of counterintuitive in that usually with a massive cliff, you want to zoom in on it to show how big it is, but I'm actually going really wide at 16 millimeters, getting the coast down at the bottom, and then the lake in the background that way. It's showing a nice contrast of the sea and then the calm landscape, and I'm doing about 15 seconds F16 with that one. The other thing is, it's so dark that way and bright this way just because of the cloud that I actually have my grad ND filter on straight sideways on my camera just to even out the light. But yeah, this is an unreal location and even if it wasn't the one we planned, this is just coming out awesome.
So we left that location, which was awesome. There might be a point in this trip we come back to that spot and shoot later at night or something like that because it was just so good. We're climbing now to the place we were originally trying to get to, we are originally going, which is the view straight down the cliffs with the lake at the top. So it's kind of straight up here. And this is amazing. Three hours to sunset, already got a photo or two in, and on to location number two. Gotta love the midnight sun. Bit of a hike up here. And uh, we made it. The crazy thing about this is I thought that the top would be where you shoot from, but I just went past the shoot location for the classic image, and it's on this steep incline. I'm not sure if I'm that brave yet. Um, I do want to take it though, so I think I'm going to try. I'm gonna ditch my camera gear all up here except for my tripod and my lens, and go give it a shot. So I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit unnerving. Uh, and by a little bit, I mean I almost pooped. It was, yeah, it was, it was gnarly. <laughs> Whew. Um, I had the car keys, so these guys would have been screwed if I went off, so I took it kind of easy. Uh, I think I got an interesting shot. And um, two hours until sunset, we're gonna go maybe shoot one more shot at this location, and then I think we're gonna go over to the big famous waterfall, although right now there's a ton of cloud on top of it, so we'll see what happens. It is 10.45 and we're coming to location, a uh, location number three essentially, which is called Mula Fossa, which means iconic waterfall. <laughs> um, this is like the most iconic shot of all of the Faroe Islands. You see it constantly everywhere on social media these days. And the light looks like a bit of 50-50 light. There's space on the horizon for the sun to come through, but we're not sure where the sun's actually setting right now. But Regardless, with these clouds right now, it's nice and moody, and I think, regardless, this place is so cool that it's gonna come out nice. So, let's get down there. Looks like there's another photographer down there already to join us, and let's get some shots. Mike's lying, he's saying there's a puffin here, but the puffins oh, are from that right. island. Oh yeah, there's definitely puffins there. Okay, I'm the liar. Regardless, the waterfall's there, the epic waterfall, the iconic one, and that's the island that the puffins live on, usually. We're gonna go there eventually, the last day, I think, of this trip. But, yeah, this is unreal. Really, really cool spot. Definitely worth all the shots it gets. So if you do come here, there's, most people shoot from right up here, right at the top on this old road. And it is the classic shot. You got the little village up there, which is awesome. Puffins flying around. But there's another place that you can go that's way down here, down these really sketchy looking steps. And apparently, if it's wet, they can be slippery, but it's dry right now, so maybe it's not so bad. There's also something to hang on to. So I think I'm gonna get this shot from up here first, and then maybe try to get down there, but we only have 45 minutes until official sunset. thing is I think after coming down to the bottom I prefer the view from the top just because 
I think there's better leading lines from the top. Down here at the bottom, there's a big open space, and maybe there's a way to work a foreground farther back somewhere, but it's a little bit too wide open. And up top, there was nice leading lines hooking you around to the waterfall, so I think that I prefer it up top. The other thing is, whatever semblance of good light we had, all just vanished. There's still a moody shot here. I just finished, I think, a 10 second exposure. That looks okay. This has been day one, officially, of the Faroe Islands scouting photography VIP trip, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited for the next couple days. I hope you guys are enjoy enjoying the episodes. And yeah, tomorrow we'll be off to explore some new places. I'll see you there. Peace.